Hello everybody, welcome to my comparative static video where we'll be working with the steady state capital per worker in a solo growth model with population growth. Say that five times fast, it'll be exciting. But don't do it in front of me because I'll be bored to death. Anyway, in my solo growth model where I threw in population growth, I solved for this capital, or this capital per worker. It's a function of individual, it's a function of our savings rate, S. It's a function of capital depreciation rate, delta. It's a function of population growth rate, N. And it's also a function of alpha, which is just a parameter that tells us how much production, or how much capital matters in our production function. So we have this steady state, it's this thing. But now I might be interested in something. What do we do with it? How might, one question an economist might be interested in, is how does the steady state change if population growth rate increases? Why would that matter? It would help guide our investment behavior if people start changing the rate at which they have children. Uh, another example is how does steady state level of capital change if our savings rate changes? So if we wanted to target a specific steady state, we could move our policy to change our savings rate, maybe to target it. So how are we gonna answer these kinds of questions? Well, based on our model, we can do what's called comparative statics. I am interested in how does K change if N increases? To answer that question, I'm going to take the derivative of K star with respect to N. Okay, and those are the two things I'm interested in. Well, let's see. That is one over one minus alpha times S over delta plus N alpha over one minus alpha times minus S over delta plus N squared. All right. That simplifies, and it's just gonna, well, I don't know if you call it simplifying or not, but I'm gonna. Let's go, minus one over one minus alpha, delta plus n, times s over delta plus n, to the one over one minus alpha. Now, for standard parameter values, this thing will come out as being negative which means that as our population growth rate increases, the stable amount of capital per worker will fall. A different kind of question we could ask. The other one I have here as an example, how does K star change if savings changes? To set that up, I'm going to start in the same way, DK star DS, DK, oops, there's the K star, and there's the S. This is how we do comparative statics. We take the thing we're interested in, and we take the derivative of it with respect to the change we're curious about. Now, this one was going to come out to be... I'll just skip a little bit of algebra. Actually, it's calculus, but whatever. 1 over S minus S alpha times S over delta plus n to the one over one minus alpha. And that comes out as positive. Now, in both of these situations, I get these equations, which I can put a sign on them and say positive or negative changes, but also if I have specific parameter values, I can make specific predictions based on my model. So if I change one variable by such an amount, I can predict how much it will change my steady state. And that's sort of comparative statics in a nutshell for our steady state. Uh, pick whatever variables you want. Good luck, you guys. Thanks for watching. And yep, see you next time.